Hi there, Toy here, and guess who finally got around to recording her January wrap up? So yeah, I'm a little late, but you know what? I am very full force into this thing I'm doing for February, and the fact that I found time to shoot this video is miraculous. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Let me just kind of get into it real quick. So first thing I want to say is that um, this is for my Goodreads reading challenge that I do every year. And every year I try to switch it up a little bit. Um, I am keeping my, um, I guess, title count. <laughs> my lips are a little dry. I am trying to keep my title count the same as last year where I'm trying to do 60 titles. And I do specify titles because I read a lot of different stuff. Not everything is a novel length book. Sometimes I read children's books. For the whole month of February, I'm reading graphic novels. And some of these graphic novels are pretty extensive. Some of them aren't. <laughs> but um, I read all kinds of books. I read short stories. So that's why I say titles, not necessarily novel length books. So according to my current Goodreads challenge, I have done nine books so far this year, and I'm a few books ahead of my schedule for that. Um, I have an image that will give you more details. It'll be here or there somewhere. Uh, but basically this image, this report that Google, not Google, <laughs> this report that Goodreads has is a little off. It's a little skewed for two reasons. So the first reason is um, I have read two arcs that aren't currently listed anywhere, so I couldn't count those. So I've actually read more stuff than Goodreads is currently showing. The two arcs that I read were books one and two in a, in a series from um, Russell Nolte. And um, I don't want to say the name of the series because it has a curse word in it. It's basically the something of verse. <laughs> the first book is Katrina Hates the Apocalypse, and the second book is Katrina, Katrina Hates the Gods. And this is based off a graphic novel. If you saw some of my um, previous uh, videos that I've done, like challenges and things like that, maybe even the one I did recently, I mentioned the graphic novel Katrina Hates the Dead. Well, the Katrina Hates the Apocalypse is the novelization of that story, and then Katrina Hates the Gods is book two, which is the one that comes after that. So I read both of those arcs, and when those come available, I'll talk about them more, I'll share the book covers, I'll do my reviews, all that jazz, but I did read those two books, and I enjoyed them. Um, the other reason why my current Goodreads count seems a, a bit askew is because I'm reading um, the collection, the complete Wizard of Oz collection. There's 14 books in the whole set, but it, it only counts as one book on Goodreads. And I was like, you know what? You know, these these are middle grade novels, so they're not um, really, really involved, but you know, they do, it does take time to read them. And I wanted to get credit for them. So you have the ability to reread books, which I think is great. I've only used it like maybe once before. So I was like, even though this is one volume, there are literally 14 books in the volume. So what I've done to sh to account for the books that I've read is I've marked it as reread several times. So in the month of January, I actually started in December, I've read seven of the books in the collection. And I'm not going to be reading any of them in the month of February because I'm reading the graphic novel versions of those in the month of February. I hope to do a little comparison video with that, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So basically, I'll pick back up on reading the rest of the collection in March and you know beyond, however long that takes. And so each time, it'll just me, be me going in there and counting it as reread. And um, I'll be posting many reviews for the stories as that happens. I haven't done any of that yet, but I did want to kind of get credit for the fact that I am reading several books, even if they are middle grade, you know, children's books. So it says that I've read nine books on Goodreads, and it says that I've reread one book seven times, and it's also not representative of the fact that I have read two books that aren't even accounted for. That was a lot. If you didn't understand it all, eh, 
don't worry, it's not that big a deal. So the other things that I actually read in the month of January besides those was I read American Gods by Neil Gaiman. And um, I've rated it already. I'm giving it a four star. And I'll, I'm working on my review. This one is kind of hard for me to review because there were so many aspects of the story that I absolutely loved. But then there were a couple of things that kind of I didn't wasn't really feeling. And honestly, the, here's the quick story. I'm, this is going to make this long video. But here's the quick story so far. Um, basically, reading American Gods at the same time I was reading those two arcs from Rosa Nolte kind of messed me up. Because they had similar themes and I didn't want it to be like one thing influencing another. So American Gods was a library rental for me. At one point I returned it to the library. I just stopped reading it, finished the two Russell Nolte books and then went back and read it because I wanted to make sure I was getting the full effect from these stories individually. And so um, like I said, I'm giving it a four star. I liked the book, but there were certain things that didn't sit right with me. And the same thing with the other books too. I'll talk about those more later. But um, it's definitely, it, <laughs> it's a good book, but all right. So I uh, another thing that I read in the month of January was a graphic novel called Seven Soldiers of Victory. And this is a team up kind of, uh, I haven't really gotten to the team up aspect of it. This first volume in this series is basically the introduction of the characters. And I guess it's kind of showing how they're going to come together. At this point, um, I gave, I'm giving the graphic novel a full star because I did enjoy reading it. There are some things that I'll, you know, whenever I get around to doing the review, I'll mention that maybe didn't make me fall in love with it. Like, say, like a Justice League or a um, Avengers or something like that. Uh, Fantastic Four. Like, this team up is it's a bit different. Um, I haven't decided. I mean, I definitely know I'm going to read at least volume two in the series to see if I want to read the whole series because the first one didn't really solidify it for me. Like, I'm still curious, definitely curious enough to read the next one whenever I can get around to it. I don't have a copy in my possession right now, but I can always rectify that. And I believe that is everything that I actually read in the month of January. So a lot of children's books. Um, some arcs that I can't really go into a whole lot of detail about yet, but I will. Um, American Gods graphic novel. And like I said, for the month of February, that's all I'm reading is graphic novels. So everything else is kind of getting put to the side. Oh, except for one thing. I am reading my um, IWSG book club book of the month, which is Rebecca by Daphne Demure. And that is a, I guess it's a romance. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. But the thing with that is I'm doing something, I've done this before, I think I've talked about it where because I'm so focused on reading my graphic novels this month, I'm not spending any time actually reading this book. I do a lot of commuting for my job, so I'm listening to it. And not in audio form because I didn't buy the audio. I'm listening to the text to speech feature on my Kindle which I've done that before. Um, it's a great way if I'm really into a story to not miss anything in between sessions, but to read an entire book like that is not easy. But that's kind of where I'm at right now because I can't spare any physical reading time because I'm trying to get through all these graphic novels. Anyway, I made this longer than it needed to be. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's what I read in January. Can't wait to see how things go in February. And uh, if you guys want to share some of the things that you read, I would love to hear about them. But that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.